What's up everybody and welcome to Rogue Running, this first episode of Enter the Gungeon. I'm Alex and I'm excited to jump in. This is the first time I've played this game. Um, I really have no idea how to play. So this is going to get really ugly really fast. But let's jump right in, as I always like to do. I'm going to go with the Marine. From my understanding, from my limited understanding, um, this guy can basically take a free shot with his helmet. So it gives me a little bit of uh, space to make mistakes. Oh god, hey, we're getting right in here. Gotta reload. Yeah, so anyways, the nice thing about Enter the Gungeon, one of the main reasons why I wanted to cover it was because it is now complete. It released a few years ago, but the, uh, the development team had been working hard on it all through those years. Whoa, that chandelier totally fell on me. So now it's finally done. The last update's been done, and um, the game is feature complete. So I figured, you know what, now's the time to jump in. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe I didn't take damage there. There we go. Yeah, so Rogue Running, this is going to be a fun series because I make a lot of, um, well, I openly admit that I'm not particularly good at the video games. Oh, there goes my helmet. I'm not particularly good at video games, so the opportunity to try and master any given game. Um, so that must be the boss. This seems like a bad idea right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's, do you want to do it? Should we do it? No, okay, let's find a different gun. No, I'm going to dive in. Let's do it. So it gives me a chance to kind of learn how to play a game and not become a master at it by any means, but just to become competent. The trigger twins. Oh, I did very little damage there. I feel like this was a horrible idea. I could have probably used a better gun. I'm sure had I kept searching that level. Oh no! I would have found a better gun. I got that dodge down pack. Oh! Well, yeah, so anyways, I am really interested in actually becoming good at a few games. Oh, taking damage. And uh, Enter the Gungeon, this game was just calling to me. It just was. I love the art style. Um, and I love the, uh, the development cycle. That development team really stuck to it over those years and have made it the awesome game it is today. So let's see if I can get better. Oh, he's mad. Oh, no. Tell me this isn't like a WoW fight where I'm supposed to, like, take them down just before... Like, one after another or something like that. Kind of like World of Warcraft style raid boss thing. No, this seems okay. This seems still doable. Oh! I still got this. Oh, now I might not get it. I don't want to go down. Not in my first run. I'm not going down immediately in my first run ever of rogue running. I will survive. And I have survived. That's it! Boss one down. Absolutely excited about that. Alright. Got a heart. We got a... I don't even know what that bullet does. And we got a gun. That's a big gun. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's move on here. Next level. Big button. What's this button do? Oh, no, I'm not gonna save. We're going till we can't go anymore. This is rogue running. Chamber 2, Gungeon proper, which would almost indicate to me that perhaps the earlier um, level wasn't really, was it, it couldn't have been a tutorial. Nah, it couldn't have been a tutorial. That looks like it explodes. It does. Alright, we got a table. Let's tip that. Oh, something's over there. And I fell. Whoa, is that the face shoot? Oh my gosh, what is that? I don't... Okay, is it is it dead? I'm... I'm a little concerned right now. I'm not even sure what I'm fighting. Okay. 
Anyone who's played a lot of Enter the Gungeon is probably watching right now and just straight cringing. But you know what? I will get better, maybe. The hopes that I get better, at least. Hey, look, a target. Oh, it actually gets bullet holes. I was not expecting that. All right. There's a door down here. I could use another helmet. And some health, actually. I'm not doing particularly good. There we go. Come on, let's survive here. See, I took some unnecessary damage in that, that fight there. I had no idea what I was up against. And that's one thing about roguelikes, right? As you get a little better, not only at the game, but you become a little more apt at identifying different situations where, oh, this might look dangerous. For instance, boom, I knew, oh my god. I was going to say that basically, as you play a game, you get more in tune with what different enemy types do, what can, you can expect, etc. Right? And I've not quite reached that point yet. I need a score or something. I know that... And... Oh... That's not what I wanted. So, Sprun has joined the shootout. I unlocked something. I don't know who Sprun is. He's got some sort of green ball above his head. He seems happy. All right, cool. Nice to meet you, Sprun. All right, so I'm dead. Um, I was the Marine, and I got 41 gold, and I killed 28 guys. The past still haunts me. And this really, really weak run of rogue running is going to haunt me as well. Oh, gosh. I almost... This is not quite what I was expecting. I was expecting to do better than this. Okay, let's go to the breach for a second. Let's just take a moment to take a look at what's going on here. Um, all right, so we have a, okay, we got the Marine. He's got a gun, a helmet, and some walkie-talkie thing, and a book. This guy's got an arcade cabinet. The pilot, okay. I should get better at this game. That's what I should do. Anyways, guys, that is the first shameful attempt at Enter the Gungeon. I will practice, I will get better, and I will see you again. Take care and have a wonderful day.